Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to another podcast of real talk about real stuff, real things, and mostly real, real estate. estate. And you know what? We've Ooh. talked about this before, but we're going to talk a little bit about getting your house ready to sell in 2024. We think you should start getting it ready now because here's what happens. You find that house that you do want to buy, if that's what you're doing, and then you're, but you're not ready for it to go on the market. Yeah. So people open your closets, folks. They open the drawers. <laughs> they want to see how big that closet is. Yeah, they do. And so, you know, you got to get the crumbs out of the drawers. You got to yeah. do all the things. You got to vacuum your hair out of the drawers in the bathroom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and all the makeup that's yes. everywhere. And Those so, are the things you start like. When you, when you know people are coming to tour your home, you start looking at that yes. stuff. And so now is a good time to do that because, you know, maybe you're in your house a little bit more. It gets dark outside mm-hmm. earlier. It's just a really good time to start. I mean, yeah. if you, the best time to put your home on the market is the spring. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you, I also say January, February is not bad because everybody's going to put their house on the market in the spring if, right. if they're thinking of selling. That's the time where we do see yeah. a little more inventory. So you have a little more competition. Although in this market, I'm not sure that matters. We just need inventory. Yeah. So I think January, February, March aren't necessarily bad times. No. I think right now, After holidays. holiday is not a good time. I mean, I, I mean, it's, it depends on your situation. If you can, we usually advise if you can wait, wait right. until after the Well, you got year. multiple offers on your listing. And yes. Yeah. And I know a lot of, a lot of listings are actually so. getting multiple mm-hmm. offers and it's because rates are steady and we have buyers. Right. So there you go. Anywho. So what are you going to do to clean, get your house? If you're getting your house ready t- for the market right now, what would you do? Oh my gosh. Okay. Right. If it were like literally right now, I would get rid of any Christmas stuff I don't want to bring with me. Like for me, the less stuff I have to move, the better. Right. So I am decluttering. I am going through all my winter clothes and seeing what I can get rid of, getting rid of my jackets, my shoes, any Christmas stuff I don't want anymore. Like just starting there and then you can move on to like your other clothes and, and whatever throw else blankets. But... I have 15 yes. trillion throw blankets I don't need all I know of those. and just be okay like letting that stuff mm-hmm. go and just think okay it's one less thing I have to put in a box later right so I would start by decluttering and yeah usually too you want to just do one room at a time so if you have a closet yeah. a guest room that has a bunch of stuff in it go in there see what's in there get rid of that then move to the next room yeah don't think about the other stuff right because if you're running all over the house you're yeah. never going to get one thing done no. so start decluttering and then I also think like freshening up the paint your baseboards yeah. painting either. the baseboards in the corners mm-hmm. of the wall I mean, even even just cleaning the baseboards for some yeah. of us is necessary, but they usually just get chipped and you just want them to look fresh and clean. You don't yeah. want your doors to be nicked. You yeah. don't want, you know, that broken handle that you have to turn left, right and pull real hard and kick the door to get it open. Maybe get that fixed. <laughs> you know, finally, <laughs> like we just get used to it. Yep. Right? You're like, yeah. well, this is how you 100%. open this, but that's not really how you should be opening oh, the yeah. door. So like get your door fixed or whatever the case may be. Yeah. I think that's always good. All the little stuff like that should be in working order. Yeah. So call your realtor, of course, start decluttering, start touching up paint and get a plan in place for like, okay, when is the best time for me and for the market to list my house? What are the steps for that look like? What maybe it's time to do a market analysis? Maybe not. Maybe you want to wait, but you could do have your realtor do a market analysis now. And then you can, if it's, you don't list for three months, you reevaluate it at Mm -hmm. that point and do an update. But, um, because then you know what your numbers are, at least what you're working with. You can go, okay, if I sell my house for X, these are my expenses. And then this is the money I have to work with to purchase the next house. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of moving parts when you move. Obviously, if you've ever done it, you know that. And when you're selling and buying, it's just easier. And my, my parents are kind of the demographic that's moving right now and they are going to be moving and they're buying their house and they're going to be selling. So my mom right now is like anything I think of, I write down any little thing, because if I don't, Mm -hmm. she just has a notepad like this anything she or my dad think of, they write down because if it's not on paper, she's freaking out because she's going to forget it. And it just, Goes like and, you know what? And it always seems like there's a lot more if it's up here. Yeah. When you actually write it down, you go, "Oh, that's not that much. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad." The other thing to to not think about right now, but to to not do right now, but to think about is your yard because the yard yeah. is just a mess no matter what. But. <laughs> Maybe have a plan for that yeah. when the weather starts getting nicer. Like, okay, do we need some fresh bark? For sure, you need for fresh bark. For sure, you need bark. Yep. Yeah, gotta be. It's the cheapest way to freshen up your yard is yeah. just get some fresh bark. But you don't have to do that now because you don't want it to get all rained on and right. get 
old and right yucky. before photos. Yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of, and then, you know, do you have that pile of wood or whatever? Yeah. The side yard. pile and the side yard, yeah. like get all those ladders out of there. Yeah. Maybe you've got a shed that you need to start getting rid of some of that. I just yes. did that actually. We, we started on the side yard and then we did some stuff in the garage. It's a project. And it's like that garage is going to take me forever. Yeah. That's a whole nother beast, but it's doable. It it's is. It's all doable. How do you eat a, an elephant? One bite at a time. There you go, peeps. <laughs> Hopefully that's helpful. Words I know wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not anything you haven't heard before, but just something to think about. And if you are getting ready to sell, call your realtor, call us. We'll help you out. We'll get you the right people there if you need it and get you an evaluation on your home and we'll get you ready to sell in the new year. Okay. Okay.